Um, you know, what's it like, obviously, through spring, now summer, and now fall, kind of looking around and seeing some of the missing faces? Uh, we really don't see it because um, everybody's just working hard to dominate their box, like Coach Saban say, and um, focus on what they can focus on. So really just try to use the next man up mentality and just everybody just go out there and do their best. So obviously this group feels is capable of developing the depth. I mean, that's really what Alabama hung its hat on on the defensive line, the linebackers and whatnot. Next man up mentality, like you were saying, it can develop the kind of depth that it had in the last few seasons. Yeah, we got a lot of good players and a lot of hard workers on the team. So just have a good camp and go day by day and try to see what we can do tomorrow that we didn't do today. Has it kind of dawned on you, you know, with John and Dalvin leaving, that all the guys are going to look to you as kind of the, the leader and the guy who's been there before on the D-line? Uh, yeah, Coach Dunbar have been talking to me about it, and I've been trying to uh, get more vocal and try to, like, you feel me, when they, when they ask, me, ask me things, I can talk to them about it and um, just give them my experience from playing in it. Is it kind of different for you? I mean, you've always had the guys ahead of you that you could look up to and ask them questions, and now all of a sudden, you're the guy. Um, not really. I've just been trying to, you feel me, go about day by day and you know, uh, just give my all, like that play, and you know, um, see where I go from there. Feel good to get back out on the field. Yeah, it feels good. No, we ain't in the conditioning running one ten. We just playing football now. That seems to be your house, though. I mean, the conditioning room. From what I saw, you, 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 you squat 550 or something like that. I benched 550 and um, squatted. I, I forgot what the squat was. So, but you prefer to be out there on the field than, than there with the, the Yeah, yeah, I love being on the field. I saw the batters that said finish on the field. Is that kind of, I, I think we talked to someone at Media Days and said that's your mantra this year is to, to finish. How have you guys kind of taken that upon you to, to make that? Oh, uh, they've been preaching about the little things like like uh, Mika said at SEC Media Day, just little things like tying your shoes, wearing the right socks, and um, tucking in your shirts. Like just try to tighten up all the little things and just finish finish everything that we do. You guys are focused on the little things, everything. Obviously, it's just the start of fall camp, but obviously you open with a huge game. Is it hard over the summer not to look at Florida State, kind of see what they do and how, how they kind of go about their business? Uh, not really. We just be trying to. Just go day by day and just take things. Like, just don't worry about things on the long run. Just worry about what we can worry about. Is it exciting to maybe get a chance to play a team like Florida State? I mean, you grew up here in Alabama. You know FSU is one of those traditional powers just like Alabama. You haven't had a chance to play them. I mean, is that maybe a check off the bucket list or something? Oh, uh, I'm excited every time we suit up, so I can't tell you. A couple more. You look, you're lighter. Oh, uh, I've been trying to. Trying to uh, get my weight down. I'm still, still getting after it though. So how to feel to be out there, seemingly unlimited, and what you can do just go on. Well, I mean, you know, it's a great feeling. You know, the kickoff practice, you know, once again, you know, another football season, you know, just just being out and, and being back out there with my teammates, you know, it's just a blessing. How difficult was that that span when uh, you went down with the injury and you couldn't be there for the national championship? Game? Was that tough for you to go through? I mean, yeah, you know, it was it was it was pretty difficult. You know, you had I had, had my days, but I mean, you know, just just embrace the challenge. You know, I didn't get too down on myself. You know, I got great teammates. You know, got a got a great support system, great trainer. So, you know, they helped me get over it. Did you learn anything in the rehab or maybe uh, hunger for football again or what? Oh yeah, I, I learned. You know, I always you know. No, no. Use that injury, you know, to, to tell my teammates, you know, every day is an opportunity, you know, every play is an opportunity. So, you, you, you never know when you're gonna get down. So, you know, all, all my teammates, you know, I tell them, you know, play, play every play like it's your last, because you never know when you could go down. When you look around, and a lot of faces missing from this defense. Um, you know, how is it kind of early on? Uh, how is it through spring, summer, and now fall? Like when you look around, you see some of these guys you've been playing with now gone. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's definitely different, but you know, here, you know, we, we, we've been to a standard where, you know, that's, that's all we do is reload. You know, the, the younger guys and, and the older guys, you know, guys who didn't have have as much roles, you know, last year, you know, they're going to embrace the challenge. So, you know, how how, how are you going to respond? So, everybody's doing pretty good, you know. So, we're we're, we're going to embrace. It.
you know, this team really prides itself not on just like the two guys they have up front, but waves upon waves of guys who are able to come in and fill a role. Is this team going to develop that kind of depth, I guess, that other teams that we've known in the past have? Well, I mean, you know, we, you know, we're just gonna use fall camp, you know, just just keep on taking strides as a team, and, you know. So we just gotta come out and, and work hard every day, and I'm, I'm sure that we, we're gonna choose each day, you know, to get better. Is there a hunger with this team that on the first day, or with how things ended last year, that you guys wanted to get out here? maybe more than the seasons prior? I mean, you know, that's last year, so I mean, we can't do anything about it. I mean, who, every, everybody's home, you know, the first day of practice, so I mean, it's like last year, it is what it is. Coach Saban said, uh, you know, he takes kind of uh, incidents like what happened with Deshaun, and, you know, helps the team kind of learn and see and things like that. Did, did a lot of the individual players, have you guys had a chance to go up to Deshaun and, and speak with him? And, How's he doing? I mean, you know, we're, we're a family, so, you know, we always got his back. So, you know, that's all we can do is just learn from it. The linebacker unit in general, you know, obviously guys missing from that. You know, who's been stepping up that you've been seeing around? Well, you know, we got some, some great freshmen that came in, you know, who are going to be able to help us out. And, you know, we lost, we lost lost a lot of the talent, but, you know, everybody's embracing the challenge. You know, everybody's working hard, and you we've know, got some guys who we're going to need to, to step up this year, and, you know, I'm sure those guys are. Two more. You get that last go-around as a hitchy as senior, last first <laughs> practice, last, everything's going to be last, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I always, you know, I always um, tell people, you know, I'm, I'm not ready to be grown, so I'm going to embrace every day, and I don't want this time to fly by, so. Can I ask you, well, it's kind of a different question, but on social media, you said it at one point recently that sometimes you think about getting off of social media. Being a college athlete where people are probably all over you, what's that experience like for you? Is it, can it be overwhelming at times? Well, I mean, you know, I just look at everything as a blessing. And, you know, you can't, can't get too overwhelmed. You know, I always got to stay level here. I mean, because, you know, God can take that away just like that. Thanks.